this week we're going to be using sentiment strips to make a P themed custom card. This card is perfect for teachers for the beginning of the school year, but you can use any other sentiment that you want. The two main things that you're going to be needing for this project is the Be Happy stamp set by Lawn Fawn, as well as the Circle Dies by Art Impressions Steel Dies. For more information on what I'm using, check out the description below. So for this project, I'm going to be using the pick scan sheet for the silhouette to cut out all of the pieces. So there's going to be quite a few pieces that we're going to be using. The first are the two peas, one without arms and the other with arms. And I'm just going to use my ink and I'm going to stamp them onto a sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm going to be having three peas and I want it to have some sort of symmetry with it. So I'm going to be using the one with arms twice. stamp on the faces. Now I'm going to stamp on both types of pea pods, the one with the slit in the middle and the one with that one. Now I'm going to stamp out the pun of my sentiment, which is going to be the happy. Finally, I'm going to stamp on all three curly cues, the one with the heart, the small one, and the loopy one. Now I'm going to use my pick scan sheet. I'm going to burnish my paper on the sheet really well, and then I'm going to use the silhouette to cut it out. If you want to learn how to use the pick scan sheet, check out my first video. I'll have the link in the description below. Now I'm going to begin coloring in my pea pod. I'm going to demonstrate the technique that I'm going to use for all of the pieces, all of the peas and all of the pea pods. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 245 by Tombow and I'm going to color in the tip of the pea pod. And I'm going to use it to make a line across the bottom and then a second line, but a little bit thinner. Take my 173 and I'm going to go over the darker green line that I already made and then I'm going to blend it upward so it gets that nice green ombre. Now I'm just going to repeat that process with the other pea pod and the three peas. Then I'm using my 245 again and I'm coloring in the heart. Now I've got a scrap of dark yellow cardstock and I'm going to use the second largest circle die to cut out a circle. Now I'm going to take some distress ink and I'm going to ink up my circle. So it's a bit of a darker yellow than the actual paper is so that you can see it. So always to distress ink when you're going off the edge, just go off of the actual surface and then move to the center so you don't have to just blotch a random color. So I'm just going to color it, make an ombre about halfway up. Now I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm going to cut it along the black line in the middle so that I can stick my peas in. Now I'm going to start arranging my peas in the pea pod. I want it to have a level of symmetry, so the two with arms I'm going to have on the outer sides, and then the one without arms is going to go in the middle. Next, I'm going to glue them down. So I'm going to take a thin strip of glue and put it underneath the arms, and then I'm going to stick it in through the slit. Make sure that it's not, the glue is actually on the top part and not on the bottom. I'm going to repeat this process with the second one with arms, and then I'm going to do the third one, the one with no arms. I'm going to attach the upper part of the pea pod so it looks like it's been split open. First, I'm going to turn it around in the direction that I want it to go, and then I'm going to use a pencil to outline where I should put the glue so I don't put too much. Then I'm just going to put glue in the outline, and then I'm just going to glue it on. So the tip of my super fine tip matte glue got stuck. So instead, I just used a pin and I just spread it around 
onto my smaller piece so I could still use the matte glue. I don't want this card to be completely flat. I kind of want my pea pod to stand up to pop out. So I'm going to use some thick foam tape and I'm going to use that to attach my pea pod to my circle. I took a little bit of trimming to fit, so I just used the scrap on the corner so that every part of the pea pod is supported. a sentiment on my card that they don't have as a stamp so I'm going to use a sentiment strip I'm going to use the silhouette and I'm going to type in my text I'm going to put spaces where the happy is going to be so that I can cut it apart later my message is going to be I'm so happy you are going to be in my class for a teaching thing but you can put it as whatever you want next I'm going to fill in my letters in black and I'm also going to change the outlining to be black sentiment strip I'm making, I changed my font size to 18.4. You can make it smaller than that or bigger than that if you want, but I will say if you make it bigger, it might not fit onto the card. Position it where you would like it, and then you can hit file in the upper corner of your screen and then print. Finally time to assemble. I took my sentiment strip and I cut it to be the size that I wanted and I also cut a little notch into the end so it wouldn't be so blocky. I'm going to take this bright green paper and I'm going to use my tape runner and tape it onto my card. I've cut it to be five and a quarter by four. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to arrange everything the way I want it. I want the circle to be above everything else and I want my sentiment to go on the bottom. Little curly cues you can just place wherever you want. I cut out so many because I thought it would give it a nicer atmosphere so it wouldn't look so blank. Once again, I'm going to use my pin and my matte glue to attach things on. Now I'm going to take my circle and I'm just going to use my glue to glue it right on. As always, make sure that you press it down very well. I like to use the matte glue because when it dries, it won't be shiny, so it's better for smaller things. And then I use the Lawn Fawn glue for bigger things. Go ahead and use the appropriate glue to glue everything on the paper down. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a sentiment strip card. I really enjoyed this method because it means that you can make so many different types of cards. 
As always, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos. Stay crafty till next time!